On today's travels, we are headed to Gilcrest County to see the beautiful Jenny Springs. Come explore with us. Jenny Springs is located 45 minutes to the west of Gainesville, Florida in the town of High Springs. These springs are in a privately owned area. Place offers a restaurant, camp store, campsites, and rentals for water sports gear. There are seven different springs to explore, but the map only shows five springs because the Devil's Spring is actually three springs in one. Hey everybody, we're here at Jenny Springs in Gilcrest County. Um, much to our surprise, this place is a lot bigger than we thought it would be. Uh, apparently there's seven springs here, and this is a whole kind of adventure fun park. It is $20 to get in, uh, but it seems worth it. We'll have to check out these springs. Come along. We learned that the price of admission is actually between $15 and $20 for the day, depending on what day you decide to visit. There is a different price if you want to stay the night at one of the campsites, which is $25 to $30 a person per day, which includes park entry with a two-day minimum. The restaurant had a large list of different items to buy. We did not try anything, but the food did look good. The camp store offered a large selection of what you may need should you decide to stay the night. You can rent a tube for the day to use on a trip down the Santa Fe River. You can enter the water at Beaver's Landing and exit the water at Twin Springs. Only electric and water sites need reservations. Primitive sites are on a first-come, first-served basis. It takes 15 minutes to walk to Beaver's Landing. You will have to carry your tube the entire way as the tube's rental place is located at the beginning of the park. You can also bring your own tubes as they did have a place to fill it. Once you enter the Santa Fe, it will take an hour to float to the Twin Springs. Since this is a private park, alcohol is allowed on the grounds. It was very surprising to us as we did not know this was allowed anywhere in Florida. Most spring areas and tube runs do not allow the consumption of alcohol while participating, but this one did. There are a lot of people who would take advantage of this and would appear to be having a good time. I would use caution before bringing your family on the weekends as these days attract a lot of party goers. We heard it is less active on the weekdays and winter months so this may offer a better option. The Devil's Spring is made up of three springs and are named the Devil's Eye, Devil's Ear, and the Devil's Spring or the Little Devil. Divers come from all over to explore these areas. Solo diving is not allowed unless you are a certified cave diver. Look for the link below for more rules on diving at Jenny Springs. Water is 72 degrees all year round. There are different areas that offer volleyball zones. notice there are a lot of people on the weekends. Holidays are even worse at Jenny Springs. We watched a few YouTube videos where it was nothing but people in the water and you could not even see the water. 
I would definitely recommend caution if you wanted to visit this area on a holiday and almost go as far as saying don't visit it on a holiday. The water is beautiful and the natural setting makes this area quite majestic. Dogwood Spring was our favorite. There are tiny little fish that swim around everywhere. The water is very clear and the area is more peaceful. There is a crevice to explore in this area. This is the area where tubes can exit the water. We did not enter this spring because of the high volume of people exiting here. This place can get loud at times because some of the people are having too good of a time on the weekends. This was not a quiet place to relax. We are not sure about the weekdays, but we definitely would like to come back then and investigate more as the springs themselves are delightful. Deer Spring was kind of murky on our visit. We did not stay here very long. Here is how a typical campsite looks. They are pretty big and spacious. I don't think this, one's water. this is what a reserved site looks like. It has electricity and water. We cannot stress enough to use caution when visiting this place as we saw many things that looked questionable. We can only hope that the weekdays bring more quiet settings. Thank you for watching our video on Jenny Springs. We hope this video helps you plan your next journey. Please hit that like and subscribe button below as we will be uploading more videos on the places we discover. Remember to join us next time as we continue exploring places big and small. Thank you.